why is Switch selling so well? I would say a handful of things. First, we identified a great consumer opportunity and something that if you talked to video gamers, they told you that they would always want. They want to be able to take a home console experience on the go so they never have to stop playing. And that's what we delivered. So this is a system that can play on that beautiful uh, you know, six foot screen and then you take it with you and play it on the subway, you play it in the Uber, whatever the case may be. So that's the first thing, the core concept. Second, we've had fantastic content. We launched with a game in the Legend of Zelda series that right now is viewed as the one or two best game ever made. And we've been able to continue with a pace of very strong software launches. That's been phenomenal. And then the third piece is that we've gotten great support from other developers, whether it's the big developers like EA or Ubisoft or these small indevel uh, independent developers. They call themselves Nindies, right? Nintendo independent developers that are making breakthrough content, unique content that's available either first on our platform or only on our platform. So that's been the story. Great proposition. Fantastic content from Nintendo, which has motivated the consumer to buy the system, and then ongoing support from other developers, which has just continued it going. That was Reggie fils from Nintendo of America, president and CEO of Nintendo of America, and he's also uh, one of the upper board members uh, for Nintendo of Japan, so he gets a lot of say in what's happening at Nintendo, obviously not on his own, but... Uh, yeah, he explained why Nintendo, at least from their perspective, sees the Switch as a success, why it is selling out. And I have to say that I agree. Uh, he kind of hit on all of the key points that matter. Great software, recognizing a need in the industry, and at least so far, uh, decent support. Uh, you know, he, he says, you know, they're getting all this big support from uh, the big AAA publishers. Well, it's true lately, uh, it's still not quite all the way there yet. I think they have a nice start. They definitely have a start uh, with this support, you know, with Doom and Wolfenstein, the New Colossus, and NBA 2K18 and FIFA 18, and, uh, you know, Skyrim. They definitely have a start to the AAA third-party support that I think Nintendo has to be pleased with, considering that they do not have a long history of third-party support, uh, you know, really since the Super Nintendo. I mean, the N64 is when third-party support really started to drop off. So, yeah, it, it's been a while. So Nintendo's rebuilding up that third-party support. Um, it, I found it a little funny when he said, you know, we also have these independent developers. They call themselves Nindies. I'm pretty sure Nindies is a name that Nintendo came up with. After all, Nintendo does run the Nindies at night special every year. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't think the third, I don't think the independent developers came up with that name on their own, but it's still a cute thing. And obviously there's been plenty of independent developers that have seen success stories on, uh, Nintendo's platforms, uh, even on the Wii U, uh, definitely on the 3DS and on the Wii and DS. Uh, so obviously there's a lot of developers that are independent and dedicated to Nintendo because they either grew up with Nintendo or they've seen sales success and their whole company uh, is actually afloat because of the sales they see of their games on Nintendo. So yeah, the Switch is off to a great start. And it's interesting hearing Reggie talk about this because Nintendo doesn't always recognize wh uh, why they are a success very well. Sometimes their successes just happen and they don't really understand it. But this is a success story that, at least based on what Reggie said here, that Nintendo gets. They get it. They understand what they did that made this a success, which I think is extremely important because Nintendo uh, <laughs> sometimes has to take its head out of its own butt, as it were. Uh the, for them to recognize that they found a need in taking home console games on the go, uh, they've delivered with consistent high-quality software, and they're attracting uh, third parties and independent developers, is huge. Because sometimes Nintendo just thinks they know better than everyone else, right? But it So it's very interesting uh, just, just knowing that Nintendo recognizes this. This, to me, is a positive step. Now, there are some things I would love to see them add to the list because they recognized uh, how to run a proper account system, because they recognized how to run a proper online system, because of their virtual console library, which, fun fact, uh, apparently uh, 
<laughs> the NES game Golf is already on every single Switch unit out there. So you own a Switch, you have NES Golf on your platform. You cannot access it currently. There are hackers working on a way to try to make it so everybody, no matter what version of the OS you have, uh, can access it and play it. And it apparently has like two Joy-Con support. Um, it, it was probably a test game Nintendo was doing for Virtual Console or uh, something virtual console like we have no idea at this point with the fact that nintendo uh only really talks about virtual console if we ask them about virtual console uh you do have to seriously wonder if nintendo is ever going to have proper vc and now they're releasing these arcade games individually um and it's still not being called part of virtual console so i i almost wonder if they're dropping the whole virtual console name uh, if they're just going to release games randomly, if they're going to have collections, if they're going to just do uh, these NES Classic Editions or SNES Classic Editions, just keep that going. I don't know what Nintendo's plan is with Virtual Console games, but uh, it's interesting that they at least were definitely testing the ground with, with the NES version of Golf. But yeah, it's Nintendo is doing it. That I, I think sometimes we have to sit back and for all the, the nitpicking I might do, all of the lambasting of certain decisions or certain third-party games or certain this or certain that, uh, all the criticisms that I always think are, are warranted. I, I think looking at things with a critical viewpoint is important. We, we can't just ex blindly accept things the way they are or gaming doesn't get better on a whole. But we also have to sit back and realize the Switch is really doing something pretty impressive for Nintendo. And I'm not just talking about making them relevant again. I'm not one of those people that think that Nintendo was not relevant lately. I mean, you don't have the DS selling almost, uh, the 3DS selling over 70 million units and, and, you know, have the audacity to say Nintendo is irrelevant. That, that's just a, an asinine statement that shows a complete lack of understanding of the video game industry. But Nintendo is just, they, they did something special here with Switch. And sometimes... We just need to sit back and and just applaud them. You know, say, Nintendo, thank you for giving us something that was lacking in this industry. Uh, there had been other attempts to take console-type quality gaming on the go. It, it's existed before. The Tiger X1 existed probably before Nintendo Switch was even an idea. And, you know, Nintendo, they just gave it to us in a very, very convenient-to-use package that resonated with consumers. And it's important to remember that fact. So yeah, it's I, I'm very appreciative and very humbled by the Switch itself. The Switch is is a kind of system that I knew I wanted it because I always want all new hardware. I'm a techie. I'm a Nintendo fan. I, I want that new system. But once I had it in my hands, I didn't realize the impact it was going to have on me. Since I bought a Switch, let me let me just explain. I play gaming on all platforms: PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, 3DS. Uh, even on my phone, uh, and then obviously on Nintendo Switch, or before that, Wii U. Since I bought a Switch, I no longer play games on my Wii U. I no longer play games on my 3DS. I sparingly play games on Xbox, and that's primarily just Madden, because Madden is not available on Switch. Um, I do not play any PlayStation 4 games anymore. Uh, in fact, I sold my PlayStation 4. I might get another one later. I don't know. Uh, I hardly ever turn on games on my PC anymore. And I spend a majority of my gaming life with Switch. I play Switch games or, or games on Switch almost exclusively as my gaming platform of choice. Now, I still play some games on my phone. Obviously, I still play Madden on Xbox. And I'm not going to say I never play PC games. I still do. But it's still... It's one of those things where it took over my gaming life in a way I, I did not expect because it is convenient. The convenience of this platform outweighs almost any deficiencies it really has. No, is it as powerful as my Xbox One? Of course it's not. It's not as powerful as my PC either, but it gives me a way to game that is a hell of a lot more convenient for my lifestyle as a parent and as an adult, and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, even as I'm recording this, I'm sitting here playing NBA 2K18 on my Switch. And for all the people that think I hate the game, I don't hate NBA 2K18. I'm playing the heck out of it. I'm enjoying it. Um, I'm loving it. And I'm loving it specifically because it is NBA 2K18 that I can conveniently play anywhere. Um, all the deficiencies aside, all the minute criticisms that I have and the ways that I think it could be better are just me hoping for a better future. It's not necessarily me saying that um, the present is all that terrible. Um, I love this game on Switch. 
and I love the Switch in general. So I think today, today on this Sunday, this beautiful Sunday on September 17th, we need to just sit back and let our appreciation show for what Nintendo has done here with the Switch so far. Is it going to continue to be a success? Or are there going to be problems? Is the, is the system perfect? It is not. We know that there are issues with this system. But for what it is, for what it's able to accomplish, and for what Nintendo has done with it so far, we just have to appreciate today, at least today, appreciate what we have. Because it's truly amazing in 2017 that I'm living in this reality of taking a game like Breath of the Wild with me everywhere, of taking NBA 2K with me everywhere, of, of taking a bassoon, Super Mario Odyssey everywhere, uh, being able to play it on my big screen and then being able to take it to my bedroom or take it with me on the bus for a more personal experience. It, it's something that, it's not perfect, but damn. Damn, is it something that I didn't even know I wanted in my life until I had it. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more. And hey, it's Sunday. My Packers play tonight. Go Pack Go. Catch you guys in the next one.